welcome, my name is Prue or Prue LaRue and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a super exciting tag that the lovely Katie Marie created. Her channel was amazing and if you haven't checked it out already you definitely should. She is just lovely. I love watching her videos, they're very calming and informative. Anyway, I absolutely love the tag that she came up with. I've seen a few people doing it around the place and it actually was quite interesting for me to do. So let's go through the questions. We can talk about it more as we go. So this is, this is the perfect subscriber tag. Question number one, do you subscribe right away when you find a new channel video or try a few videos first? Oh, like, the way I approach YouTube changes so much. It really depends on the video. Sometimes I will just subscribe straight away, but I have found that sometimes I regret that because the rest of the content that they're producing, I'm just not interested in. So I'm becoming more selective and at least going to their page and looking and seeing if I like the other videos that they've got up and then I'll subscribe. Does the make sure you subscribe mantra ever sway you to subscribe? I just don't even notice it, to be honest. I'm the worst at putting it in my own videos, trying to get better at like putting it at the end, at least. So, I don't know, It it's something that YouTube tells you to do and as long as it's not too long, I don't really mind. I'm not super into it, you know, when they put like, they take over the whole screen and go, this is how you subscribe. Like that's when it's really, <laughs> they want people to subscribe who don't know how to subscribe. And I don't know. So yeah, I don't like when that goes on for a long time, but I don't mind a little reminder. How many channels do you have the notif notification bell turned on for? Uh, look, so for me, I look at it as like I had before my before I started a channel and now. I had no notifications on for a very long time. As I've started a channel and have got some lovely YouTube friends, I definitely have notifications on, but I also have it set on my phone for do not disturb from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. So I won't get pinged for any notifications overnight while I'm sleeping. So the notifications don't really bother me that much. I don't mind a little reminder for some people, but I, I also don't really know how, <laughs> how they work. So some people I think I have it on occasional, some people I don't have it on at all. Some people I have it on, I don't know, I'll just leave it. But today I got a notification from a channel that I'm not even subscribed to and it was like a, like a trending, topic channel like mojo or something a huge channel that i got a notification for and that super annoyed me and that makes me want to turn all notifications off because i don't want you to be notified like i don't want notifications about stuff that i don't care about and before do you watch every video from your subscription feed or only your favorites so there are some people that i watch all the videos that would be not yeah there's a few people that I watch like every single video of. I think I watch every single video of Annette and I'm I'm so accustomed now to watching her every day. When she doesn't upload, I'm a bit like, oh, well, okay. <laughs> and, but she does do five videos a week and I've just gotten very used to watching her every day. But I'm finding that there's a current trend on YouTube at the moment to doing, to like panning and low buys and like, I love you, but I, I don't really care. I will go to like the Reddit pan porn subreddit sometimes to look at pan, pan porn because I just like looking at it, but I, I don't want a video summarizing it. So <laughs> I'm really sorry. I just, it's content that I'm not interested in. And I, I feel like a lot of people in my sub feed are doing that at the moment. So, you know, I do watch a majority of videos from people I'm subscribed to though. And if I'm not, I do eventually sort of un unsubscribe. How many channels do you never miss an upload for, no matter how busy you are? So, look in my life, and I don't know what it's like in your life, I'm sure you're busy, but um, in my everyday in life, I work as an intensive care nurse. I do 12 hour shifts, 7 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. or 7 p.m. to 7.30 a.m. And if I am at work, sometimes I'll watch YouTube on my break, but, like I've only got 30 minutes and I'm like, I'm going to have a coffee. I'm going to eat my food and I can just chill out for a bit. And for me, that's going to be music over YouTube just because I need to get my mind out of work and I don't find watching videos always 
hits the spot. So if I'm at work, I'm really busy and I'm super stressed about whatever I'm going through on my shift, I, I won't watch anyone. <laughs> I will miss everyone. Um, but I usually will catch up the next day when I've got a day off. I love watching YouTube, like just chilling out, having a coffee with you all and enjoying your content. What kind of commenter are you? So when I didn't have a channel, I never commented at all. I don't think I, yeah, I didn't, all the people I was watching were quite large. They didn't really interact with comments. Like, and then I remember coming across like a Reddit th thread ages ago and it was about people who'd been blocked from people's channels based on a comment that they felt was constructive criticism and the use like the YouTuber had gone and just blocked them completely and then they could no longer watch the YouTuber that they liked watching. And that really scared me for a long time about commenting. And I I have I have on occasion stepped my foot in it. I've got two scenarios. I'm like, well, should we just sidetrack? Let's just go down them. <laughs> I have a comment that I made and like this is what puts me off commenting on certain people's videos sometimes. But I have a comment I made ages ago on Angel Angelica Nyquist video and she was talking, I think it was a Q&A, and she was talking about not going to countries that really like look down on women. And for me like I just, like my sister lives in Dubai, she's got a hair salon over there and I was kind of like hey like my sister lives in Dubai, they treat western women really well, alright. And like and then I got all these comments about how that's not the right way to think. And it's hard because, look, it's Angelica's... Instantly I went, look, I was just trying to say, like, Dubai's a really cool place to go. You definitely, sh you shouldn't put it off your list because they don't treat women well. Like, that's such a strong cultural thing that's been going on for thousands and thousands of years. Yeah, like... <laughs> And to me, like, to me personally, I just don't relate with that level of political activism that you think that you refusing to go to a country is going to impact the way that they do things and have been doing things for a long time. And Dubai is a very complex cultural place. They're essentially a tribal society with a sheikh and everything. Like, I mean, I don't agree with it, but I think if you ever get the chance, you should go to Dubai. It's amazing. And my sister is doing amazing things over there that she and she's getting opportunities that she wouldn't get here in Australia. And so that comment put me off commenting for a long time again after that as well, because I just don't agree with. And like when it comes to politics, it's such a touchy topic. And I'm sure maybe I've offended some of you, which like isn't what I intend to do. It's just that I don't think that the impact of one person not going to a country will change their cultural stance. I'm just going to move on because it's not my place. But, and it comes, and like for me, it's personal because my sister lives there. And then another comment was very recently, and I it, it kicked me back into gear, that I need to be more mindful of the things that I say. And it was so stupid. And it was on my, it was on Annette's Makeup Corner Jeffree Star Deluxe box video and I was just going to check on it because like she was blowing up and I was super excited for her and she'd done a pinned comment of like hey guys I paid for express postage that's why I got it and I thought I'd just make like the stupidest joke ever and say haha oh I thought you were gonna keep that a secret that you did that and like I just I realize it's a just like I realize how it comes off now as a comment and I mean, I did apologize to Annette personally and I did apologize later on in the comments, but people were a bit like mean to me for saying that, like, how dare you say, like, you aren't, like, you're only saying that because you're fake. I'm so not very good at dealing at dealing with stuff when people get that vicious. So I find that commenting on YouTube is a treacherous place and it's best to not ever mention any personal political opinions and I realized that my comment on Annette's video was bad taste I definitely won't make that mistake again and you know I think sometimes I'm just gonna keep getting reminded like through like you don't know who's reading this 
you need to think about how someone else is going to interpret it who maybe has never spoken to you before. And especially on YouTube, like everything's public. You don't know what people are going to think. And so I'm always like a bit stressed about that with YouTube commenting. But I will comment on every video that I watch. On every, vi like on about 98% of videos that I watch, I do like to leave a nice little comment. I am watching a lot more of smaller YouTubers. And if I'm watching one of the big guns, I don't tend to leave much of a comment because they, I don't, they don't care as much as like us little guys do. And now as, as a creator, I realize how valuable comments are. And I absolutely love the comments that I get from all of you. And you really do feel like you get to know the people who are commenting and feel like you're building like somewhat of a rapport with them. Like, I love you guys. And I want other people to feel that too. So I do go out and try and leave positive comments that demonstrate that I watched the video. <laughs> and um, I freaking hate, come check out my channel, sub for sub. Especially when it's like an expectation of like, hey, I just subbed, sub back. And I'm like, who are you? Who are you? Why are you here? Or like you get this really nice comment and then they're like, sub for sub. I'm like, so, and I'm like, if you leave a really nice comment, I pretty much like 100% of the time go and check on your page and see what you're up to. That's how I like to roll it. <laughs> and then number seven, do you skip ads or watch? If you're a small creator, I will, will never skip ads unless it's like the one or two minute ads and it's really boring. But for smaller creators, I watch all the ads. Do you speed up videos? I never used to, and I watch a lot of YouTube on my television. So if I'm watching people there, I can't speed up. But Annette sort of, she kept mentioning, she kept mentioning how she speeds up videos. So now I do tend to speed up videos, but I will separate the content. So if someone's doing a really chatty video, I will watch that on my computer and have it sped up at times two speed. Or if it's something more about makeup and you're showing me like a beautiful eye look, I'm going to watch you on my TV and the big screen and get to experience the beautiful look that you're creating. Do you click affiliate links or use affiliate codes? <sighs> no, not really. I find a lot of the codes and links are all for the US based and I tend to, if I want a code, I want, want a very specific code. I think the only code I've specifically wanted to seek out is some, a smaller influencer with the Morphe code. And I was told that you could use the adopt love code. Then I found out that that's a person who then uses the money that she gets from the adopt love code and then donates it to charities. But there's actually no guarantee that it's going directly to the charity, except that she says it is, I think. So I'm not sure how I feel about that code, but I don't really like Morphe, so I don't really give a shit to explore it. But there's not like, if I'm buying something, I'm buying it from Mecca, I'm buying it from Sephora Australia. And yeah, um, I do find it quite difficult to find people's affiliate codes, like, cause they're in the description box. Like, and I might want like Angelica Nyquist, does she have one with Give Me Glow? And then you spend all this time going through her video description box and you're like, no, she doesn't have one. Okay. Georgia Harris, does she have one? No, she doesn't have one. Samantha Marsh, does she have one? No, she doesn't. So yeah, I find it very tiresome and I wish the codes were all in just one place. So yeah, so I'll use the codes if it's for like a discount from a brand that I'm buying from. Links, I just don't really get it. Please, if you have more, like, if you think it's worth hitting the links in Australia, like, let me know. I'm happy to adjust my consumption. What's your preference when it comes to video length? Your sweet spot. Really depends on who you are. And depends on what I like watching from you. I'd probably say about 20 minutes. And I know I've made some 40 minute videos, my loves. <laughs> so I can't really say anything. But I don't mind a mix up of content. I don't mind if someone's making long videos and short videos. And yeah, I think 20 minutes. And like for me, so if you like, even if you've made a 40 minute video, I'm probably just gonna speed that up and put it in 20 minutes which is fine. That works for me. Um, so I think let's say not above 40 minutes. Like that's too long, depending on what you're doing. Do you thumbs up most videos? I thumbs up all the videos. Thumbs ups are amazing. Everyone should thumb up everything. I love thumbs ups. Do you have a thumbs down a video? Now I've been so surprised seeing everyone's answers to this and they're all like, I've never thumbs down anything. Um, I like to get on the hype train. Sometimes I thumbs down YouTube rewind. And that is the only video I've ever 
I have ever thumbs down. Do you share other YouTubers' videos on your social medias? No. Yes, sometimes. I don't know. It depends. Usually not. I'm terrible at posting my own Instagram pictures, let alone posting your stuff. I don't know. It's just all a bit complicated. Anyway, I truly hope you've enjoyed my answers to these questions. I hope I have contributed to this tag. Katie Marie, thank you so much for making such a great tag. Such fantastic questions. I absolutely love answering them. And if you enjoyed my look, I'll link it around. And if you like, feel free to subscribe. I'd love to have you. Thank you so much for dropping by. I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Mwah.